So for walls, the command is WA. That's the shortcut for walls. You can select any walls that you have here for now. Okay. If you edit the type, you will see the wall composition. We'll learn how to do this next week. If you click on the preview button, you see the layers and the thickness of all those layers shown in a floor plan view or a section view. Now, notice only in section view can you modify. Okay? If you go to a plan view, you'll see that these are grayed out. So take note of that. That's our lesson for next week when we create different types of walls. So in this wall, we have different materials. We have a sweep, we have reveals, okay? So it's quite a complex type of wall. We have a parapet cap, and again, a different material here. So we'll use this wall for now. Click OK. Click OK. And you can check the justification of your wall. Let's say I want my wall to be uh, going outside from the finish face of interior from this grid line. So I can click here and notice that it's going to the uh, outside, right? If it's not doing that, you can hit the space bar key and it will toggle between left or right. Okay, so no problem about that. You can click here, go around, and close. Now, when you create walls, you'll notice that we are able to place it to the proper location based on our grid. But you can also say, uh, you can always move this if you, let's say, made a mistake, you can move this or you can change the value or measurement. So let's say it's 18. Oops. What value did I place? Close, escape. 18, just 18. 18, right? Or if you want it aligned to that grid, you can say modify al is the shortcut for align al so i can say align to this grid this wall okay so you can easily do that again if i move this i can easily say al right select this and select the wall if you want that to be in a certain uh, distance you can always create a new line DL is the shortcut for a line let's say I want it to be aligned to this line right here I can type AL align to this this wall okay so if you, you, you have a certain distance and you want the face of the interior to be aligned to a, s a particular line you can use the AL command for now, okay, I, I don't need that. I just want my wall to be aligned, AL, to this grid. So that's the placement of the wall in the floor plan view. In the same token, the floor plan that you have created here has an orientation. If you see this double arrow, that means the orientation is at the outside that double arrow shows you where the exterior side of your building is but you can always click that and toggle between facing to the right or to the left or west or east of your orientation okay third thing your building starts at a certain level, first floor. It can have an offset, and then it ends at a certain level as well. Or 
you can constrain it to that certain level. You can always say unconnected and change the height or connect it to a level. So what I want you to do, let's go to a 3D view. What I want you to do is design your structure, do the interior, okay? Go to the second floor and then likewise change the heights and let's go back to the first floor add your doors and windows okay so door okay you can always flip this door again if you click here you can flip that and add your windows as well Okay, so you can do your own design for your building. I'll go, I'll go around to answer questions. Okay. Likewise, you can flip your windows. And you can always change the dimension. So let's say 5. Okay, you can always change the placement. Let's say make that exactly five. Okay, so it's easy to move those items around.